Hey guys, Xander here with the Fusion Cam team, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about moving. Moving bodies versus moving components. And there's a difference, and I want to try and explain the difference to you and why I think you should be using move components more often than bodies. So every part and component inside of Fusion has its own origin. So this whole part document has its origin right here, and this stock right here has its own origin right there. Now, if we move components, we're going to be moving that origin and the entire component. However, if we move the body, we're just going to be moving that single solid body relative to its own origin. So we're going to get started and I'm going to show you the move bodies by isolating this stock. So if I right click isolate. So now we can see that our part origin is here and our component origin is right here. Now, if I do a move com command, it'll probably default to bodies or faces. And this will remember your last choice. Now, if I go ahead and move this body, you'll see that that origin stays where it's at. It doesn't move. That origin is fixed in place because we're only moving the body. Now, instead, if I move the component, it will move the origin with the component. So that'll, ke that'll keep any mates or joints that you have. It'll keep those references. So as you can see, there is a fixed joint right here. If I go ahead and unisolate this, you can see that that's going to keep that with it. However, if I just move the body, it'll lose that because that origin is what everything is relative to. Whenever you move a body, you'll also get a timeline feature because technically that's something that's going to be a parametric move. Right click edit. You'll see you can change this around and hit OK. Overall, moving bodies is going to create more issues and cause more confusion than if you move components. So if I revert the position of the component, you can see the body is now translated away from the origin. If I show the sketch too, you can see the body isn't kept with that sketch anymore. However, if I delete the move feature, you can see the body is now with the sketch again. Now, if I go ahead and move component, you can see the sketch remains with it. So moving components keeps everything together, but you will need to capture the position. And this is saying, okay, I've moved the components, I've moved the origins relative to each other, and I wanna save where the origins are located. Now, moving bodies can end up creating more issues too, especially if you have features that are relying upon each other earlier in the timeline. So for example, I have this table here, and this table has joint origins on it. And if I was to move the body, we're gonna lose the connection to those joint origins. And I just slide this away. You see the joint origins are still in the same place because those joint origins are gonna be relative to where the part body was or the component body when you made them. So moving the body at a later time is gonna break those, as well as any sketches or anything that was connected there is all gonna be moved away. Instead of if you just move the component, which keeps everything together. So in general, whenever you're moving or aligning anything, you wanna be moving the component, not the body. That way you can keep track of everything and everything stays together. And there's very few workflows that I can personally think of that would need to move a body because for the most part you should be modeling anything wherever it is and as long as you're using commands like the isolate tool so now this acts like I only have one component here and hide that origin so if I needed to change this to be 2.5 instead you can change that I can see it updates instantly you know maybe this needs to be a little taller so this this is kind of like just working with a single component inside this entire assembly However, when I'm using isolate, it's easier to see. But if I had this body moved, move bodies, and I slide that over here, well, now this sketch will still update that body, except for whenever I'm editing it or looking at it, it's going to be jumping around. So if I have this sketch hidden, and I was to right-click edit sketch, it doesn't even look like my sketch is going to be connected to my body. So now whenever I edit something, even though it's still editing it, they're in different places, and it kind of looks confusing, looks weird. Which is why I'd really recommend just moving the component and keeping everything together for the most part because as long as you're doing it this way, everything will stay simple, it'll be clean, it'll be more parametric, and everything will be better when you're doing large assemblies like this. So I'll right click on, on isolate. Now the last thing I just want to mention is this is going to be the same for the align tool. So if I was to just move that away, which by the way when I'm clicking and dragging like this is moving a component technically. It's keeping that origin where it's at. As I click and drag, it's moving as a component, not moving as a body. So when I do the align command, same thing, you get bodies or components. If you align components, it'll be perfectly happy. There's that. And I want to align it right there. 
hit OK. So all the origin will stay right there. However, if I undo that and I go ahead and redo the align with bodies. Now you kind of get this weird behavior of, well, I just moved it, but it hopped back. I can see that I have the timeline feature here, but it didn't actually move it. So this is where you're going to get some weird behavior because bodies aren't going to be moving the same way. Everything's going to be linked together with joints possibly. So whenever possible, I really recommend to be moving components instead of bodies, which at the same time makes me want to say also to make sure that when you are creating new components or you're creating new bodies, that you create a new component before you create all those features. Hopefully that helps clear things up about how the move command works and why you should be moving components instead of bodies. All right, let me know if you guys have any questions.